Hello. This one's all about art. Before getting into the project, Grateful Glass, how about a uh, note? When I was a teenager, I would do Photoshop. At home, I had this cracked version of Photoshop and I would use some of the filters in it to come up with somewhat abstract digital art. In this world of stable diffusion that the project focuses on brings that feeling that I had back as a teenager to me today. It's that it's sort of not very good. I'm not a visual artist. I wasn't good at Photoshop in a creative way, nor am I with this stable diffusion stuff any more creative. Let's get into the project. I'm going to make myself go to a corner now. There I am. And here's the project up at the bottom left. Nice. OK. Upload an image of stained glass here. Boom, boom, boom. What? the gallery is stained glass grateful dead iconography so let's first get some stained glass and i'll go to images and let's see if i can do tools i can do usage rights uh, creative commons license should be fine Nice. Now, the stained glass from Tiffany. Fine enough. Let's see what I can do to get that image onto a more usable, right clickable than we just saw there. Come on. Let me tell you something about DevTools. They're hidden. Oh, come on, with a keyboard, too. Mm. I hate computers. But the dev tools, they're hidden for a reason. They're hidden because they're not very good. Even developers don't like them. Here's our stained glass. Back to the regular scheduled program. Save it. Call it stained. Tiffany. It's called Tiffany. How's that? Okay. We get our Tiffany glass, then we upload it. And we go to, I think it's a desktop, Tiffany WebP. Upload. Now, gratefulizing, check back soon, click to upload another. What happens is I get an email saying that upload just happened and go to the related bucket myth software and find in that bucket under this prefix grateful the most recent upload here and view that same image wow that's how if someone else were uploading it i'd get at it so with that image, I'm going to just swap it over to like a JPEG for compatibility reasons. I'm not even sure if it really needs it. But there you go. Tiffany JPEG. I go over to this little tool 
Diffusion B. It's a web-based interface put into a mobile, put into a, let me start that sentence with the words that make sense. It's a desktop interface for stable diffusion. We can add an input image like that Tiffany photo that we had. And just for example, you could type in turn it into a Grateful Dead version of stained glass. And looking at all the options here, we see one called ControlNet. And ControlNet has this addition above the standard stable diffusion ability to have a root image that when combined with the input image and the prompt has an influence on the outcome so that the root image shines through. So let's get a nice Grateful Dead root image. Grateful Dead. Let's go with the bears on most of it, but I think that their head logo has some cool results too. What do you think? I think this one's good. Do a quick save image as, we'll say dead patch. Let's see what we got. Nice, good resolution, beyond good. Let's scale it down to width of a thousand should be okay. Dead patch. And now our dead patch is that what we want. So here in Stable Diffusion, we hit Generate. I said stable diffusion, diffusion B. Check out diffusion B. And it takes 30 seconds or so. Not sure about some entertainment. I'll do a handstand. Let's see, can we get it? So, a minute, maybe. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we're still not done. What else can I do? Gosh, really not done. Look at that loading bar. Okay, I'll be your loading bar. We'll look at this. And maybe here is good. Uh, another move, another move. Oh. Still not done. Don't know what to say, but I'm out of gas for the moment. Sometimes waiting is a part of the world of engineering. We all have our do's and our fidgets and for me mine are upside down 
So it's been skillful fidgets. As a college student getting bored in accounting, I learned to write with my right hand. I'm a lefty. And it's better to me from idling to get better at things. Ah, here we go. We've got a result. That Tiffany bit and this control image of the Grateful Dead later, and it doesn't look anything like the Grateful Dead patch at all. So what happened? We didn't click the control net model. That's our choice of within control net, what to apply when applying the control image of the Grateful Dead patch. So we're going to do that control with tile. I vetted out some of the others and thought tile was the one that gave the best result. And you have all of the knowledge to do this piece of it. It's only download the tool on your Mac and use it and you're done. Simple. And as I scroll through, I'm looking for image dimensions. I'm going to choose a smaller resolution image for the purposes of this video to have less loading time this time around. And maybe, just maybe, we got one more in me. Something fun could be a handstand down to a planche. Yeah, there we go. And we're halfway there. I guess they say you should move when you're doing computer stuff. And I agree with that. I don't know how much computer stuff y'all do. I do so much that if I don't do silly activities in the waiting times, it's 10 hours in a row that I'm at that computer. Not good. Hey, look at that Grateful Dead head with that Tiffany shape. So we're seeing the control image shine through with this generative stained glass bit. And that, my friends, is a keeper. So let's save this image, save image as, and I've got a little folder that I've been collecting all of these into called Grateful Glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, let's add number seven. Great. And we're going to close out of Diffusion B, close out of our previews of glass and all of this stuff here. We're going to only leave open Grateful Glass, SYR, and now we're going to go to Terminal. I'm gonna open up the Grateful Glass project, talk about and run a little code and see what happens. So, opening up VS Code, you're going to see the way that the images are, for this project, locally loaded. It was a design choice I made based on the level of effort going into making a image API uh, part of a project that doesn't have a full end-to-end -end automated image processing backend. Let me large screen that for a second. I just had to do all that manual stuff with Diffusion B and that's crazy talk for web apps. Behind the scenes, why is any human doing anything at all? Well, okay, yeah. Why is anybody ever doing anything? We have jobs, you know. This project could not be done any other way in the few hours that I put into making it. So 
there's a human part. It's not uncommon. If you're not an engineer, people do work behind the screen. Not all the time, but sometimes it looks like this. Image number seven has to be loaded in. So I'm going to go to a component called gallery where I've got an array that represents all of these images. I'm going to copy that, go ID number seven for image number seven. And then I've got to get the width and the height of that image, which when I click over here, should be somewhere down there. Yeah, four, eight, that's the numbers to remember. Great, done. Looks like there's the seventh image and I can run locally to see, is that good? Is that it? Have I done the job? So locally, I've got a server that is provided by the tool that is so common these days called Next.js. And now I've got my clickable image in the gallery. And I've done it. So I add the seventh image. and I push it up. Where do I push it to? GitHub. But what's listening for that push is something called render. Render hosts apps and that lets GitHub and render provide a seamless solution. So when a change is made, a new deployment automatically starts. I had some issues when I was working on this, 5.42 in the morning, sure. But it started at 4.49 for the first push, probably an hour before that. So a couple hours in to get this Grateful Dead glass thing going, and I'm feeling pretty good. So Grateful Glass, SYR, AI, there it is as the custom domain. It's a simple enough thing to do. Settings for render has our custom domain. It just needs a C name. I use name chief. We're in the waiting game part of the job again and maybe differently than before. No hands then. See, it's, it's running. There it is. Ah, and that's what I'm trying to keep on screen while keeping me on screen. How about we talk about art for a minute? Because in the write-up, I write that all work is connection. It's connection to buyers and sellers and people and the economy is about people getting connected. Art is isolated. The line, every form of art isolates you from humanity, it rings true for me. It was spoken by a great artist, Michael Larson, originally. And I worked on this in the middle of the night. And I was inspired by this woman whose stained art is made alone. And just before starting this video, it's on a website honoring a man who passed away, died by suicide, and isolation, artwork, creativity, On their own, they're all right. One, two, and three. You can be isolated and be just fine. But sometimes, sometimes people are not. Sometimes isolation takes over. Sometimes creativity takes over. Sometimes 
to have too much of the one good thing becomes a bad thing. And then we get into parts of the world that are so deadly. If you're watching this, I'm not with you. I'm a screen. So if you're having a hard time Talk to somebody nearby. Talk to somebody who can be with you. And we're back now to the conclusion. It says deploy live for the commit, add the seventh image. We can go to Grateful Glass, refresh. And let's see what happens. So we've got our seventh image. And that is it. Good night. <laughs>